Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn how to interface DC motor with 8051. In many projects of embedded systems, we need to control DC motor using some controller. It is not good to connect DC motor directly to the microcontroller. Since the maximum current that can be taken from 8051 is 15 milliamps at 5 volts, but a DC motor needs much more current and so here we need L293D driver. It consists of four half edge drivers. So for your better understanding, these are the four edge bridge drivers that constitute some op amps then diodes. These diodes act as switch. So this is the simpler simpler version of edge bridge. Like if you close S1 and S4, these are the switches. S1 and S4, if you close, the motor will rotate in clockwise direction. And if you close, switch S2 and S3, the motor will rotate in anti-clockwise direction. But if you close S1 and S2 and or S3 or S S4, then you will do the, you have done the short circuiting. That means in technical terms, you can say shoot through. So the L293 driver, L293D driver, is designated to provide bi-directional drive currents of up to 600 milliamps at voltages from 4.5 volts to 36 volts. It can drive inductive loads such as solenoids, relays and bipolar stepper motors. It contains internally protective diodes across the motor. Now let's talk about the pins of L293D driver. It has VSS pin which is used to provide input voltage to L293D that is 5 volts. The VS pin is used to drive the DC motor connected to this driver. So a DC motor needs some 12 volts of supply through VS pin. Then coming to EN1 pin, it is used to enable input pair 1 that is IN1 and IN2 for out 1 and out 2 respectively. These are the output pins. Then coming to EN2 pin, it is used to enable input pair 2 that is IN3 and IN4 for output port output pin 3 and 4 respectively. Directions of motors are controlled by input pairs 1 and 2. So all the ground pins are connected to ground. Now we shall understand the circuit diagram. So in this project, I have used AT89C51 microcontroller, two capacitors of 33 microfarad, a crystal oscillator of 11.0592 megahertz, a capacitor of 10 microfarad, then a resistor of 10 kilo ohms, and a push button for resetting the microcontroller. Then I have used two push buttons connected to port zero. Then one end of push buttons are connected to supply then the another one another end is connected to ground through, resi through resistors only so the driver l293d driver is used here whose input ports input pins in1 in2 in3 and in4 are connected to port 2 with their respective pins and the enable pins en1 and en2 are shorted and are given to the supply of 5 volts to enable the input pins and at the end output pins are connected to the terminals of DC motor one pair of output pins are connected to the terminals of one DC motor and the another pair of output pins is connected to the another DC motor so this was all about understanding the circuit diagram and connections now let's get down to the code so this is the code so firstly including the header file that is reg51.h defining the delay function this is the delay function which will be used to produce the delay using for loop then defining the input pins connected to port 2 then defining the push buttons as b1 and b2 that are connected to port 0 now coming to the main function initially the mode uh, initially the inputs to the motors 
are kept at zero then making the push button as a input port like both the um, both the buttons both the push buttons are given a state a state of high i will tell you the logic of my project before going into the actual code so uh, as soon as i press the button button 1 if i press the motor 1 rotates in clockwise direction and once i make the button 1 at, at logic 0 the motor 1 will stop rotating then if i press the button 2 that is b2 the motor 2 rotates in anti clockwise direction and if i make but b2 at logic 0 the motor 2 will stop the rotating so both the motors can rotate until and unless the switches are came uh, come to off state so now coming to the code we shall see now like how uh, we are going to apply this logic to our motors so the first if in the while loop the first if uh, is for motor 1 like if the button 1 is pressed that is 1 then according to our logic we have to make the in 1 high that is the pin 1 high and in 2 that is pin 2 a low in order to rotate the motor in clockwise direction so giving some delay like the motor need to start slowly uh, this delay can differ you can put uh, anything in delay so the current the second if in the second if it says that if button 1 is made at logic 0 the motor run, motor stops rotating so so this can be done by making both the pins both the pins has to be 0 similarly the third if says that if the button 2 is pressed then according to our logic the motor 2 should run in anti clockwise direction which can be done by making the input pins in3 and in4 in3 and in4 yes 0 and 1 respectively now you know how to stop this motor also so just the one thing just the thing that i if i want more both the rotors run simultaneously then i should i shouldn't include else in the third in the third if condition so that's all the that's all about the coding part now we shall create the hex file the hex file has been created as motor.hex clicking ok i will import this hex file to 805 on microcontroller motor.hex open ok i will start the simulation now so i didn't press any button so that means both the motors will not rotate now now i'm pressing the button b1 so the motor is rotating in clockwise direction now if i press it like if i depress it it should stop rotating you can see the speed is decreasing now if i press b2 button it will rotate in anti clockwise direction i will depress it again it is stopping rotation so i will press it up i will press both again both the motors are rotating simultaneously so you can see how we are rotating the motors and that's how we interface motors with 8051 using L293D driver so that's it that's it and that's all about that's, that's all the project is thank you for watching thank you so much guys